Hi guys and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel and to another edition of our gaming PC build. This time we are working with a budget of $500, which is the right sweet spot in building a cheap but still pretty solid gaming PC. With the following build you'll be more than capable of playing latest games on medium to high settings in full HD at decent frame rates. So, let's start off with the CPU. Our pick here was the well-known Intel Pentium 20 Anniversary Edition G3258 model, an unlocked dual-core 3.2 GHz processor. Although you may be concerned about the fact that this is only a dual-core processor, there are plenty of reviews and done benchmarks out there that proved otherwise. As for the motherboard, for it we chose very affordable but still capable of overclocking the CPU over 4 GHz with BIOS update, the Gigabyte H81M DS2V model. It's definitely not one of the most equipped motherboards out there, but it will get the job done. Coming down to the RAM, here we chose the cheapest possible 8GB 1600MHz 2x4GB kit, which was one from Team Vulcan. Don't be scared of this pretty unknown brand, although it lacks with popularity, it has proven to be more than okay by a bunch of different websites. In any case, warranty is here, so you are worry free. Moving along to the storage portion of the build, here we managed to squeeze in an SSD and an HD. Although they are not that big in capacity, you'll get from each of them at least something as it's quite hard to balance a decent sized HDD and an SSD within this kind of budget. For SSD we have our trusty pick of Kingston Fury in its 120GB capacity, one of the best price to performance ratio model out there. As for the HDD, once again we went for the already checked out pick from before, the 1TB Western Digital model from Green Series. The most important component of them all, especially in this case of building a gaming PC, is the graphics card, of course. Here we chose in its class very affordable but yet very strong R9270X from XFX, the double dissipation model. This GPU will be more than strong enough for you to play latest game titles on high settings, with frame rates way above the minimum needed 30 FPS. One alternative to all of this is in a case if you already have an HDD or an SSD or you plan to later on additionally buy an SSD or vice versa, for the price difference of one less component you can go for the Gigabyte R9280 Winforce edition and treat yourself with even better graphical performance. For the power supply as with our previous build, we are choosing the Corsair 80 Plus brand CX500 model. This product comes in with a very low price, but still manages to pack in a decent wattage and build quality. Last but not least, for the case we chose the pretty popular NZXT model Source 210 in its black color, and beside that color you can also choose the white one. This case proved to be spacious enough to house all the components, while looking elegant and interesting design-wise, and keeping solid build quality and sturdiness considering the price point. All in all, considering the budget of just a few bucks above the $500 mark, this gaming PC build serves its purpose in the best possible way in regards of its value. Although you could make some changes to fit your preferences, generally speaking, component-wise it's hard to get anything better than this. That's it guys for this build, thank you once again for watching another edition of our gaming PC build guide within the budget of around $500 for the month of October 2014. Be sure to tell us your thoughts or questions about this build in comment section below, share us your personal component picks and what you would like to see us build in regards of different price points except this one. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like this video and of course be sure to subscribe to the Tactic YouTube channel for more content like this or you can check out our other videos from before. Yes, indeed. Agreed.